So what does this soul look like? He's a Mongolian warrior from the 13th century. Whatever they look like, that's who we're after. Traditional Mongolian dress is called the Dell. It's worn by both men and women. It's widely worn by Mongolians today. Is that so, Professor? Hey, don't mock me, okay? History Channel docs are a great way to break the ice with the ladies. What ladies? All right, he just got out of hell yesterday. The devil said he'll come here to steal a horse. He's skilled with swords, spears, and knives. He could probably snap your spine with his bare hands. Yeah, maybe you guys should cover the other exit. Cover the exit with what? Our spines? Yeah, you have that. We're sticking with you. Keep your eyes open. Uh, Look! What, what, what? Money. Oh. He's gonna get crushed by the horse. Cover me, okay? What? Andrew, what are you Magic. doing? Idiot. <laughs> Isn't he cute? No, no, yeah. no, Ben. No. Can we keep it? I've always wanted a rabbit. No! My house, my rules, no pets. It's our house now. Okay, can it's we not... discuss this later? We need to find the stupid soul. Look out! Tough, stupid, stinky Mongolian now, huh? I'm just a primitive being. I don't understand your modern technology. <laughs> no! Ah! Oh! Ben! Get the vessel! Ben, drop the rabbit. Ben, drop the stupid rabbit! Get the vessel! Get the vessel! <laughs> oh. I got it, guys. I got it. What? That's the soul who figured out how to get out of his deal with the devil? Yep. I'm gonna hang these up all over town. I don't know how else to find the guy. Large reward. Exactly what do you mean by large? Got a gift certificate to Outback. $30. Oh, nice. Hey, have you seen the bok choy? King Charlie here just loves it. it didn't Sox say you were supposed to leave it out in the garage? Yeah, but he doesn't like it in there. Needs to be inside. Besides, he won't be any trouble. Yeah. You know, Ben. When was the last time you went out on a date with a girl? Well, why? I'm just saying. Sometimes when you get lonely, you sort of, you get really attached to animals. That's not, this is not about that. Don't listen to him, King Charlie. He's just jealous. Don't you dare. Sam, why is she torturing me? Oh, my God. I can't handle it. I'm cracking up. <laughs> oh, brother. What the hell? It's like she's waterboarding my boys, Sammy. They're constantly blue. You got the blue man group in your pants. Shut up, Ben. Oh, oh, hey. What the hell is that? Easy, you're scaring him. I don't care. Get that thing out of here. Dude, what's your problem? He's not hurting anybody. Uh, OK, OK, house meeting, house meeting. First item up. I propose a vote. We put a ban on all bunnies being in the house at any time for any given reason. How about that? Seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Sam. All those opposed? Can we talk about this? Thank you. The eyes have it. Take the varmint to the garage. Now. 
Oh, brother. Make sure you tell your little buddy to bundle up out there. It gets good and cold at night. <laughs> but in terms of your basic bench top, I mean, this really can't be beat. It's lightweight, mobile, and a real great value. How big is the blade? 10 inches. Motor? A single phase, 120 volt, 3450 RPM, and a 27-inch fence. Anything else? I think that's it. You certainly know your merchandise. Mm. Are you one of those secret shoppers? You know, they send you from Corbett to see if we know our stuff. Was I that obvious? No, actually, you were really good. Wow, you were amazing. Can you do me a favor, will you? Yeah. I can only do my job if none of your coworkers know I'm in the store. Could you? Yeah, my lips are sealed. Secret shoppers? Yeah, they pretend to be customers, but they really work for the bench. <sighs> They write up reports on employees. You remember Andrew Fink? Yeah. Yeah, he got fired last year because he tried to sell a secret shop for weed. These spy on us, they can do that? Yeah, yeah, of course they can do that. They can do whatever they want, man. They're a big, giant, evil corporation. Represent everything that's wrong with this country. Wow. Excuse me. Oh, oh shh, 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 shh. I got a message for you and your boys up at corporate, my friend. I'm watching you, watching me, watching you. Believe it. No! I just wanted some rope. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm we're, sorry. We're... Place the vessel on the mat. No, I, I don't have a vessel. Great. Next. Well, no, hold on, please. I, I need a favor. Can, can you clean this up in here? No. Get out of here. Hold on, hold on a second. Did you see that? You recognize him. All you meat bags look alike. This is a federal building. No private bills can be posted. No, no, you know him. Gladys, come on. I just need to track him down. His name is Alan Townsend. He used to be in hell. I just, I need an address. Not a chance. I got you out of hell, remember? Once. You're never gonna let me live this down, are you? I can't talk here. Tonight, eight o'clock. Look out your back window, I'll flash a light. When you see that, go outside. Next. Sammy, that look on your face, priceless. Yeah, yeah, you're <laughs> hilarious. Hey, you ever hear that noise again, buddy? You just start running. And the second thought, forget about it. You'd probably already be dead. At least you know what killed you. What are you talking about? Demons. That's the sound one makes when it's hunting its prey. Well, you don't recall a certain demon rebellion that's sort of trying to assassinate you? What, with you being my son and all? Right, right. Well, I'll try to watch your back, buddy, but you know, you gotta remember, I'm a busy guy. It's an election year. Okay, I know, I, I'll handle it. Uh -huh. Oh, and one other thing. Assuming that you're not torn apart by demons in the next few hours, you might wanna try and catch your soul sooner rather than later. See, those Mongols conquered half the earth. And I have a feeling this guy's gonna adapt to life in the 21st century pretty quickly. Okay. Copies are done. Right. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you. Thanks. Always here to help. Remember to keep focused on your body. You're torturing me, Sam. She's like a prison guard at Gitmo. Got my bonbons all locked up. She's not trying to torture you, she's exercising. This is so unfair. I am not her brother. I mean, I, I don't even look like her. You know, why does she insist on labeling me as her brother? I mean, I just want her to see me the way the rest of the world does. And how is that? As a sexual magician, I gotta open her eyes, change up the game, explode the paradigm, you know? She's really flexible. I know, it's crazy. I got it, I got it, I got it. Huh? I'll take her dancing. Chicks love to dance, right? They all yeah. love to dance. They love to get drunk when they dance. More importantly, I could straight up shake this ass. 
I start popping and locking, she's gonna go bonkers, right? Absolutely. Oh. Sock, can you spot me on this move? Can I? <laughs> Gangway. Okay. Oh, look at me spotting you. <laughs> Yo, I'm sorry you gotta stay out here, little man. Yo, but my roommates have very little respect for anything but themselves. Anyway, I got you a present. The Tiki Torch. It's nice, right? Scented with a little citronella to keep the bugs away. Now we're living large. Hi. Hello. Surprised to see me? A little bit, yes. I almost got my throat ripped out last night! Drama queen. You sent a demon to my house to kill me, Gladys. Why would you do that? We're in a book club together. What, so you agreed to have me assassinated? These book clubs are a lot of pressure. I want you to look at that computer and find Alan Townsend right now. There, happy. Before I look at this address, I want you to remember who my dad is. Because if this is another setup to get me killed, I think dad would be very upset about that and would want to punish all those involved. Am I clear? Come with you, it seems like you should be, you know, not in a blood relations kind of way, but uh. Oh, I love this song. Me too. Let's do it. Come on.
So you think you can actually get this guy to help you? I hope so. I mean, we do have a common enemy in the devil. Mm. What? How great would it be if this actually worked? If I actually got out of my deal with the devil? I know. I mean, I don't want to jinx it, but if this actually happened... It would be amazing. Yeah, no more devil, no more souls. I mean, we could actually be a normal couple. Yes. You know, do normal things. I, yes. Ooh, See, we well, could go on vacation. Yes, like a real vacation, Paris. See, we could go to Malta. I don't even know where that is. Uh, but first he has to help you. I know, I know. It's fun to think about. Yeah. I'm starving. I'm gonna go to the convenience store on the corner. You want anything? No, I'm good. Be back in a jiff. You two seem very much in love. Why do you always have to do that? I just think that love is really wonderful. Whatever. So, what are you doing here? I was, um, looking for the Mongol. I had a hunch and Andy wanted to help. Uh, that fish is a week old, Sammy. I'm not buying it. I got I know what you're really doing here. Making time with your gal. Looking to steam up the windows. Meanwhile... In local news, a man on horseback rampaged through a downtown area today, vandalizing property and robbing several stores. Police warn that the man is extremely dangerous and not to... You hear that? Police are after him. Yeah. I don't want that soul in police jail. I want him in my jail. I'm concerned that you're allowing yourself to become distracted. A $10,000 reward is being offered for any information leading to his arrest. Chips? Uh, what, we, we, we gotta go. What? So this deal with these little curly slut bags starts dancing with her, right? And she completely lets him. It's like I wasn't even there. It sucks. I know, I was pulling out this move, too. <laughs> Man, how do you ignore that? I don't know, I couldn't. That's a great move. Thank you very much. You know, I just want a little acknowledgement. Oh, this is where Ben said beat him. Ah, ah. Oh. Ciao on, gentlemen. What's that? It's the vessel. Where's the soul? He'll be here. How do you know? History. Observe, if you will. All right. OK. <gasps> Benjamin. So, as any scholar will tell you, the Mongols first invaded China, then Korea, all the way down to Vietnam. Now, similarly, our soul first ransacked a Chinese restaurant, then a Korean barbecue. One guess as to what he's gonna hit next. Don't tell me it's a Vietnamese restaurant. It's gonna be a Vietnamese restaurant, and this one just happens to be the best one in Little Saigon. Ben, I, I don't think it works that way. Ignore history, Sammy, and see what happens. So what, we're just supposed to wait here? Benjamin, do you happen to have the rest of the pieces? Way yes. ahead of you. Try the bun fog. It's really good. Uh, I will. I don't care who you are. It's 15 minutes to wait. Hey, come here. Give us a second. Hey. It's a Mongolian. <laughs> How did he get a suit? The devil said he could adapt. Come on,
Are you kidding me? So you'll have to admit I was right. Oh, um, no question. Best of the enemy is in Seattle. No, about the soul, Nimrod. Oh. Ben, you are absolutely 100% right. I am sorry we doubted you. Thank you. So with those facts on the table, I'd like to reopen the vote. King Charlie should be allowed to live inside the house. Benjamin, that smelly beast is not setting foot inside this house, OK? Plus, you need someone to second the motion to reopen the vote. Out of luck, pal. Sam, I found the soul. I saved your life from the demon. You have to second the motion. I second the motion. Yes, all right, cool. A new vote. Um, all those in favor of King Charlie living inside the house, please raise your hand. Uh, opposed? What? I'm sorry, Ben, it was a close vote. This is crap. It's parliamentary procedure, Ben. It's not crap. It's crap. Parliament, Ben. What's up, brah? Topher, we met the other night. I'm here to pick up Chris. Come on in, brah. So, Tof, Tofu. What do you do? Do. Yeah, do. For a living? My dad owns a car dealership. Oh, look at you. Self-made man. All right. Very proud of you. That's impressive. Here's the thing. Kristen is not like other girls. She is smart, and she is kind, and she is very, very special. So if you think you're going to waltz up in here and put another notch in your belt, my man, you are sorely mistaken. Because she is my sister. And the only one allowed to have sex with her is me. Hey, Toe. Doc, you Hi. remember Topher? Uh-huh. He's taking me dancing. Funsies! Ah! <laughs> if she were my sister, I'd probably want to do her, too. Because that ass is crazy doable. I'm so sorry, man. That was way over the line. Well, well listen, listen, I'm not normally a violent person. I'm very tender. I'm very gentle and kind. I just... Do you need a water bottle or some ice? Your neck? Just leave us alone. Uh, Go! Uh, Are you Man, it's not that bad. At least he didn't call the cops. It's terrible, Sam. All of it, all right? I mean... Sock. My sister hates me. I just... You know what? You know... I just... I need, I need you to leave right now. Please just respect my privacy and go. I see you. Excuse me? You. I've been coming in here every day this week, walking these aisles, stealing furtive glances, hoping, waiting, fantasizing. Um, I'm sorry, I, I think you're confused. No, 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 there's no confusion here, sexy lady. Yeah, no, I know the drill. Lonely house frau, cruising the bench, looking for a fleeting moment of passion with anyone that will have them. Sir, I really don't think that you want to continue this line of conversation. Don't worry. You aren't the first, and you won't be the last, but you will be the seventh. What did you say your name was? Ted Gallagher, manager. Sock. Sock! Leave me alone. Listen to me. Ted hit on the secret shopper, and he got fired. He's about to leave.
You're gonna hear a lot of terrible things about why I was dismissed. Words like harassment, sexual advances, inadequately endowed. Sir, please. Detective? Thank you. But what kind of world is it where a man can't simply say hello to his neighbor? Can't strike up a conversation with a pretty lady? Can't flirt harmlessly? Tell her about his hobbies and passions? Not the kind of world I want to live in, I'll tell you that right now. And just to be clear, sex swings have been around for thousands of years. It's not like I invented them. Wish I had. Sir, you need to leave immediately. I've been authorized to use force. <sighs> I, I can't really... Don't, sh don't, 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 don't analyze. Just save her. Save her. talk to you you work for the devil i do not work for him he owns me my parents sold him my soul i'm going to hell when i die and i didn't have anything to do with it that sucks man but i can't do anything for you what yes you can you can tell me how you did it just tell me how you got out of your deal with the devil i'm sorry but i'm done with this i got a second chance and i'm not gonna blow it i can't risk talking to you i can't risk helping you i gotta stay off the devil's radar and i gotta avoid any temptation of any sort yeah but that's never gonna happen you're always going to be on his radar. He's always going to find a way to tempt you. No matter what you do, where you hide, he's going to find a way to get you into hell. Unless I help you. Okay, I know how he operates. I know his tricks, some of them, and he trusts me. I might be the only person in the world to keep him away from you. One is not to be touched. Oh, did you get a look at its face? I thought it was going to start bawling. <laughs> oh, man. I love killing demons. Hey. Drink up, buddy. You just had a near-death experience. You ought to be over the moon. You're thinking about Alan Townsend, aren't you? Oh, I you gotta let go of that, man. Now, face reality. He's never gonna talk to you. Not after what you did to him. What I did to him? Yeah, it did sort of look like you were trying to get him killed by demons just now. You set this whole thing up. You had the demons attack me on purpose. Now, how would I do that? Because you know, if Alan thinks I'm involved with those demons, he'd be too afraid to talk to me, and he is. You know? It's funny how it all worked out in my favor, isn't it? Huh? <laughs> Look, I got a feeling that soul's not gonna be able to stay out of hell too much longer. So my advice to you, forget about him. Give over to your fate. Because you can make yourself miserable fighting it. Or you can accept your lot in life and make the most of it. Adapt or die. Like our little Mongolian friend, you know he's from 13th century China. And in less than a week, he's become a blackberry toting jackass who's terrorizing the city like a professional. <laughs> we should all be so wise. <laughs> Well, fine. You don't want to drink to your happiness. 
Here's to your sorrow. Ooh. Hey, want to do a little stretching with me? This one's called the Eagle Pose. It's a, oh, listen, hey, if you were waiting for me to apologize for what happened to Gopher, you can forget about it. means Topher. What, what do you see in that guy? He's a hair product. You know, what? Seriously, tell me. I'd like to know because he, to me, is so obviously a player. I don't, I don't know what dudes are like in Japan, but this douchebag just wants to bang you and walk away. Maybe that's what I want. Oh, come on. I mean, how bad could it be? It's bad. Okay, so we saw a couple demons attack you. The guy was in hell. Okay, I mean, it's probably not even a big deal to him. Oh, the devil screwed me. He made it look like I was working with him. There's no way that guy's gonna trust me. It's over. It's hopeless. No. You know, I refuse to accept that. There's gotta be something you can do. There's not. The devil made sure of it. But what the devil didn't count on is me. Alan will talk to me. Why? Because when I want something, I can be pretty persistent. And I really, really want to go to Malta. Hello. Hello. Who's got fresh kale? So nipply, so delicious. Oh. Wow, um, we're we're in the wrong garage. Yeah, ex excuse us. Sock. He has a rabbit. What? No. Oh, no, 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 you don't. No. Please open the door, Sock. No, don't Please even think door, about sock. it, Benji. Please open the door. The rabbit stays outside. Oh, open the door now. Come on. Sock. Am I there? Uh, okay, so we're just gonna leave. So, thanks. and upset. Whatever we did, let me just say that I apologize on behalf of myself and the rabbit. I burned you a little bit there. And that was wrong of me. That was so wrong. Maybe we could get you some ointment or something. Something to help with scarring. Oh, please, just, just be careful, please. Oh, no, 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 you don't want him. He I promise he didn't do anything. All right, just two of us, okay? Yeah, well, I'm just gonna do a little prayer. Yeah, you know, I walk through the alley. Oh, my mind's so blank, I'm going total blank. You know prayer? What? What do you want from me, huh? What do you want from me? I want what everyone wants. I've been watching you. You're very brave. There isn't your life to save your friend. You have a kind heart. You seem to really love that rabbit. Thank you. You're welcome. You have beautiful eyes. Oh my god, he's dead. There's nothing we can do. What, what, what do we do? Sam. Sock, that thing took him, and he's not coming back. Sam, listen. Here's what we're going to do. We need to get our story straight, OK? People are going to come here. They're going to ask questions. We have to have answers ready. Sock, what? 
Our friend is dead. Ben would want us to have a cover-up story for the cops, and that is a fact, Sam. So now, here, this is what we're gonna do. Tell people that he went on a bike ride late by himself. Maybe we invented a drug problem. It was a drug mule. You know what? Narco Traficante. None of this would have happened if you weren't to just open the door. Hey, Ben knew the rules. No pets inside the house. We voted on that. Why do you hate the rabbit so much? Why do I hate the rabbit, Sam? Let me give you one good reason. Because this is not a milk dud. This is not a milk dud. What's up, boys? Oh, my God, Ben, you're alive. Oh, my yeah. God. Oh, oh my god, man. <laughs> Hell yes, I'm alive. What'd you think? Some punk ass demon was gonna take me out? We thought you were dead. We thought you were dead, Benny. Oh, Benny. Oh, man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Uh, well, it, so the thing grabbed me, right? Yeah. And it took me up to a lair up in the mountains, set me down, and came straight for me. I mean, straight for me. And I just went house on that thing. That's <sighs> crazy. How? It was just like a shot of adrenaline. I mean, I just Jackie Chan its ass and hauled out of there. It was crazy. I don't believe it. Now, look, look at you. you. You don't have a scratch on you? Nothing? Not a scratch. Nothing. <laughs> what? What? Nothing. No, nothing. I mean, it's just, you know, you fought a demon and you're totally fine. It's just odd. That's all. What? You don't believe me? Who knows? Maybe you're not lying. Whoa. Whoa, Ben. Hey, hey, hey. The rabbit, house rules. No rules, King Charlie stays. Oh, it's my sister. Hello? Hey, I came as quick as I could, are you okay? Here, get in, yeah. You were totally right about Topher. He's a jerk. What happened? I went to surprise him. And he was having sex with another girl. Huh. Huh. Oh, that, uh, that's, uh, that's terrible. I had my hair done. I bought fancy underwear. I was gonna give him my virginity. Are you? Oh my God, are you not wearing any clothes under that thing? I feel so ashamed. You were gonna give that guy your virginity? Why? I just wanted to get it over with. All my friends have already done it. I feel like such a loser. Part of me feels so ready, you know? Yeah. Just to have meaningless, crazy sex with anyone. I just thought Topher would be easy. Listen to me. Your ladyhood is a very, very special thing. It's like, um... It, you know, it's like it's like it's like a, like a super awesome hot tub. Right? But if you just let anybody hop into that tub, it kind of becomes meaningless. It gets full of hair, and you have to clean it out all the time. I hate dirty hot tubs. We all do. Now look, sex can be a wonderful thing between two people. Don't get me wrong, but it can also be just really gross and kind of weird. Look, you will find the right person, the perfect person. Maybe even closer than you think. You're so right, Sock. Oh, I know. I'm going to save myself until marriage. <sighs> did I? Did I say that? I'm going to keep my virginity. And I need your help. Oh. <laughs> oh, please, Sock. Will you help me? Not have sex with anyone? Of course I will, Kristen. You're the best brother anybody could ever have. Yay. I love it. Oh, I love it so much. Okay. Glad you made it. You look amazing. I know. Um, just just to be clear, 
You're not just using me to get to my friends so you can kill them, right? Probably not. Yeah, yeah that's, that's good enough. That's, that's fine. There's no way we're going to find him. We'll find him. How? Look at this. Don't overeat. That's gluttony. Don't covet neighbor's possessions and or wife. What does it mean? This guy was obsessed. He's trying to avoid temptation at all costs. Gambler's anonymous schedule. Exactly. I mean, he's terrified that the devil is going to somehow tempt him back to hell. This apartment was his fortress. So? So, we just need to figure out where would Alan go to be safe from the devil? It's hard work, it's sweaty, and it doesn't pay that much. Plus, lots of people are afraid of corpses. <laughs> Doesn't bother me. You sure you want the job? This ground's been consecrated, right? By the bishop. I'll take it. 